Hello, gold miners. Here is our small projection assembly right in here with this driver board. Uh, I took photographs close up of everything in here just so that uh, you could see it and study it a little bit better. Here's the, uh, the lens assembly. This is uh, seems like high quality uh, plastic uh, parts there. That's all. I'm just, we broke one apart and took a look at it. These are the parts inside. Broke it apart, cracked it apart. Maybe cracked it open. Cracked it open. Took a look at it. Here is where you would put, uh, this is the slide holder. This is where you put your slide in there. I believe the diameter is 0 .0, 0, .40 diameter. And you'd add a little slide in there. Um, I have some slides from the past. Just cut one out, put it in there, and then it slides in here. Incredible heat sink on the back. Here's the driver board. These wires are insulated, so if they touch, nothing uh, uh, doesn't short out or anything like that. Operates from 9 to 36 volts. And uh, let's, uh, let's turn it on. Not noticing anything different in terms of wattage as I move the wattage around. It seems constant. There is a little LED on the front of the driver board. You can see how kind of bright that is already. This is the projection lens. And again, these were made for, um, for to cast a logo on the ground uh, when a car door was open, car or truck. And it's pretty bright. I am holding the heat sink. Not very hot. Hasn't been on for all that long either. So we've got some nice electronics in here. That makes a cool photograph just like that. It's pretty cool. Um, got a nice LED in here. I think it said it was a Cree. I can't be sure. I'll uh, put that in the description. And uh, really bright. Let me see if I can just shine it on the wall there. Do anything to you know aim at it? over that way. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bright. It's pretty bright. Not crazy. Not crazy bright. But it's going to work. You're going to be able to illuminate whatever you like. And again, here's that little lens holder. Um, negative holder, actually. It's a better wording. Then you put that in there, and away you go. All right.